Hello, everybody. Uh, Dr. Rick here, dropping in on you. Normally, I'm not dropping in like this on uh, this late in the evening, but I wanted to share something with you, something uh, that I'm excited about. I'm also challenged by, and I want to share it with you. For the longest, I have been dealing with mental health in the Black community. And for the longest, one of the hardest things to do was to get black men to seek help to have black men regardless of age be willing to sit down and work on mental health issues and dealing with mental uh, health issues and mental illness and i'm excited because over the last year and a half to two years i have seen a marked increase in the number of men that have come to me either on their own or younger men and young teenage boys being brought by their parents uh, to me. And I'm excited about that because it means that we're getting to a place where we understand the importance of our mental and our emotional health. The problem is uh, 90 plus percent of the ones are coming to me are coming from affluent families, families who can afford uh, to pay for my services. And while I do uh, the best I can to offer services through a number of different mediums uh, at reduced and at sometimes no charges, it's only so much of that I can do because it's my time and it's how I actually earn my living. But I do the best I can. So the reason I'm here is real simple. I need your help. Uh, I am in the process now of conducting a two year uh, research into uh, mental health, especially how it impacts men, but also how it impacts our women, but also the impact it has on the home and the community, incarceration, unemployment, and so many other things. And I, uh, let me give you an idea. The average basic research program is anywhere from $30,000 to $50,000. Uh, when you don't have funding for that, you have to find ways to fund it. I have done my research through my own means and own resources for years. Uh, in addition to that, though, my primary concern now is being able to accept people who are not in a position to pay for my services and be able to do that consistently. And my goal is in the next week to raise $30,000 just solely for the purpose of working with young males and females, because I'm not turning away anybody. And I've worked with females a lot longer than men because women are willing to seek help. But I'm excited about this new spike in the males that I'm seeing. And it's, it's, it's interesting because it's been, uh, an increased number and it's increasing monthly of people who are reaching out to me for my services. And so what I'm going to do is this, uh, for the first person who donates $2,500, I'm actually going to give you my platinum package. That's a year of actually working with me. And it's not necessarily a mental health thing. This is what I do. I do performance psychology and life strategy, and I do it around around the world is global and this package is normally priced at thirteen thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars so basically a fourteen thousand dollar package and it is comprehensive it is intense but i win uh, my success rate uh is over 99 percent and the per first person who donates twenty five hundred dollars i'm going to give you that for every person who donates fifty dollars or more you're going to get my latest book my 28th book which is healed and whole and it goes into so many different elements of mental health emotional health psychological physical health and everything that it encompasses and how we can achieve it uh, i'm excited about that book not only that everybody who donates in this week will have their name listed in the final uh, release of that book, which is going to be released at the end of this month. So I'm extremely excited about that. I have written literally for decades on mental health in the black community. I am a an advocate and champion for mental health. Again, it's what I do. It's what I'm passionate about. And it all tails back to that. But 
to see black men in a place where they are looking for help, seeking help, asking for help. I'm here. But like I said, the people who are coming now are people who are being referred by people who I've worked with in the past, people who have heard about me through those people. And these are people who are uh, federal judges, work in the entertainment industry, things of that nature. And they're bringing their children, their sons. And I mean, I've got sons of these people who are in the, their 30s. So it's not just young kids, but these still are people with means. The thing is, they're the largest part of our population. They don't have those means. And I'm not asking anybody to foot everything because I've been doing this to the extent that I can. I've been doing this to the extent that I can. What I mean is I've literally been working with people sometimes at no charge, but you got to understand that comes at a cost to me and my family. And so I'm asking you to look in the description box and give again, anybody who donates over 50, $50 or over will have their name in the book listed um, in a special, um, congratulations and thanks type uh, in the front of the book. Uh, your name will be listed. I haven't made up in my mind if I'm going to put the donations because I don't want anybody to feel less than anybody because any amount matters. Uh, but I will put everybody's name in. Anybody that donates 50 or more will get a copy, a signed copy of the book. Uh, and, and the first person who donates $2,500 will actually get a year with me. That's a $13,995 uh, package. So again, I'm excited about the fact that our men are coming to, we love, I mean, we sit around and we love to bash our men. We love to talk about all the things they do when they break. Uh, I believe it was Fred Douglas that says it is easier to, uh, build strong children than it is to uh, repair a broken man. And the thing is, the earlier we get them, the better. That's why I started Black Man Lead, to help develop and build young boys, to give them a rite of passage, a sense of identity, a place, a purpose, uh, a sense of being, an understanding of their responsibilities, what's expected of them, how they should be moving in the world, to properly socialize them into a world that's inherently hostile towards them in a way that they can become not only functional, but thrive. And then to help those who are already struggling to get through it. Healing is Kate is possible, but it takes work. And again, I'm excited about the fact that people are actually coming, men specifically. But again, I work with women uh, and work, have worked with women longer, uh, have championed and advocated for women who were victims of childhood sexual abuse as children, uh, domestic violence and all of that. But we have so many men out there that don't have an outlet, that can't say I'm hurting, that can't say I don't know the answers, that can't say I have these suicidal ideations. I told you this probably this uh, uh, probably this time last year that there has been a cataclysmic spike in suicides among males between the ages of 14 and 24. It jumped in the matter of six years by 49%. There's a reason for that. We can't sit up and look at it as some uh, arbitrary happening. It is something that's going on that we need to confront and it's time to start dealing with it. Uh, other mental health professionals who are out there, we need to come together. We need to create a universal plan to address this on a national level. The beautiful thing is I can help someone because the way I work is virtual anywhere in the world, but definitely anywhere in the US. And so I'm excited about it, but I do need your help. So again, share this video, like this video, but most importantly, go in the description box and give. Our goal is to raise 30000 within the next seven days. Again, I've, I've told you what I'm willing to give to those who contribute certain amounts. Uh, but every person that gives from a penny on up will have their name in the final uh, copy and release of uh, healed and whole, which is my 28th book. And this book is going to be explosive. It's a peek into the mind of a person who is dedicated over 30 years to understanding this at a level that very few people can 
possibly fathom. I've been lecturing on it. I've been to symposiums. Some of that stuff is listed, I mean, actually on the different places that you're watching this because it's going to be on multiple channels, multiple platforms. But again, this is me calling out to you. So look in the description box and give whatever it is your heart purposes you to give. There's no amount too small, but obviously those who give more, I, I definitely appreciate it. Once again, thank you in advance. Let's make a difference. Um, and like I said, we haven't even gotten into the research part of this, but the more we understand, you got to understand there are research programs being funded in the millions to understand us, but it's not us that's doing it. It's other people who will exploit us by understanding our thinking, our moving, our impulses, what triggers our buying, what triggers our emotional things. And if you don't think that there are actually things out there, these microaggressions that are literally inverted into our community, into our spaces that are meant to trigger us, to make us sick, you've got another thing coming. Uh, I'll be talking about all these different things in the coming week, but I really do appreciate in advance any support that you can give. On that note, uh, I get off uh, excited but challenged, and I invite you to be a part of what goes on moving forward. On that note, I'm out of here. you guys have an unbelievable remainder of your evening.